Dr. Young and Dr. Wong both found it at a similar location. This you can kind of see, hopefully. You have the, 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 carpet, the tendons, right? The flexor carpi radialis and ulnaris, the, the tendons do here. Um, and, you know, typically in the book, it'll say too soon above the wrist crease. Well, even looking at my wrist crease, I have several creases, so which, which crease do I pick? Do I pick the distal one or the most proximal one? You don't even worry about the wrist crease. What you're gonna look at are the vessels. So you have a vessel coming across here, and then a second vessel coming across here. You're gonna put it on the proximal side of the second vessel in between the tendons. So it might be too soon for someone, but it might be one and a half soon for someone else. It might be two and a half soon for somebody else. So in a moment, after lunch, we're gonna do some um, practice of location. And I'm gonna have you guys find these on each other, and then I can go around and we'll show where the exact location is if there's a, if there's a question. But this is what you're looking for. You're looking for the two vessels crossing over the tendons. And, excuse me, to be most specific, in that space, you know, if you have this space here between those tendons, you guys can see this. And here's, you know, here's gonna be the hand over here, okay? And um, the fingers. Uh, you can tell I'm like a super good artist. Um, and you have these, so you have the vessel, you have the, um, you know, you have your, uh, your wrist, and this is the two tendons, okay, flowing. And then you have your vessels coming across, and here's the thumb. You're actually gonna put the needle just a little bit more in the radial aspect of that space. This can become very specific, but if, when you guys do your needling, you'll see there really is a chance you could do it just a little more towards the radial side of that space. And that's the location. Now when I do my needling, you want to do a very gentle approach here, because typically this is the first treatment you're doing on someone. And we'll talk about in a second how I do my needling. Sometimes I will just skip this point if somebody's so sensitive, or I'll save it to the very end. But if I do end up doing this point, I use thin needles. I use um, 30 ga 34 gauge, which isn't exactly thin, but it's not thick. And I use a one soon needle. And I'll show you how I do my insertion, but I put it in, and then I get a chi response where if we can, ideally, we get the response to tingle up and down. But typically, it might just go down, and that's enough. Oh wait, see, you said it needs to go up. I better keep going until it goes up. Do not do that. If they feel it go down, that's enough. But sometimes we can have it warm up the channel too. Um, but that's the sensation we're going for, and I just do a little bit, and that is it. They'll usually feel the tingling for a moment, then they'll feel like a heaviness and a pressure. That's plenty. And then I just let it be. 